It's macro Sunday time and actually a few new things, a few new um, very interesting things I might add as well, at least in my opinion. Anyways, uh, without further ado, I want to welcome you back to the Air Crown Crypto channel. It's a lovely Sunday morning over here from a bright and sunny, finally, finally feels like summer over here in July, in the midst of July, in the midst of July, as we uh, work our way through this very, very boring summer as Bitcoin's been more or less sideways for the last almost five weeks now. Anyways, before we get into the analysis, I do want to once again let the community know that you can still get the Jewel Life free for the first 30 days if you follow the directions and the link in the description below and there's your free shill of the day and let's just jump right on into it so i'm going to first start off with a couple of things that we have already uh spoken about before but just kind of follow up on them and then we'll get into the fun stuff but first things first we'll start off with the bitcoin stock to flow rainbow indicator what essentially is is just measuring out the time distance uh from cycle to cycle and as you can see bitcoin is or bitcoin the cycle is within that deep blue color uh as we have seen several times in the past um um, which actually has led to, you know, uh, a pretty sizable correction um, in all prior cycles, actually, as we do see coming off of the uh, the fourteen thousand dollar high over here in two thousand nineteen. Before, well, <laughs> maybe you call this black swan, maybe call it a bit of a crash, but uh, a rather exaggerated um, uh, event right there compared to what we saw in the prior couple cycles, where we do see the same thing over here, and then a bit of a correction correction coming off of um, uh, the end of twenty fifteen, off of the uh, about two cycles ago and then of course we got the same thing over here as well again do pay attention to or at least i would call attention to um you know one be the low being in and then two a major rally or you know a pretty sizable rally and then three uh, a pretty major correction so thus far, we I do believe that we probably very likely have seen the lows. Um, again, you know, this analysis has been more or less same as far as the lows go uh, since I believe it was December when we started to say, hey, this is probably the low. Um, but now the question is, how far into this current um, uh, first rally are we or is Bitcoin and how close is Bitcoin to that first major correction? Because <laughs> those first major corrections, while they don't like like too, while they don't look like too much on the charts, uh, except for you know 2020, obviously, um, these were pretty sizable moves, like 30% moves uh, in some cases even more. So moving on through it now, I actually want to get into the next uh, into the next thing on this chart, which is the Pi cycle high and low indicator. Um, we've used it in the past to one be aware of highs and two be aware of lows. Um, and in this case, we do see something very very uh, important, I do believe that after the Pi cycle low has been called, which has been pretty damn accurate in calling the lows um, as far as Bitcoin goes, and and even the highs as well. Actually, now you might be looking at this current one or the most recent one and be saying, "Hey, Crown, what? What do you mean? It's not. It's not. It's nowhere near close." Well, first things first. I mean, in terms of price action, it was pretty close, and just we, uh, like a weird mirror almost. Uh, we kind of see between the highs and the lows. You know, it calls the highs over here. Yeah, Bitcoin traded a little bit higher um, about half year later same thing over here to the downside actually i just you know kind of thought that that was interesting um it's almost like you just flip the chart and maybe it's just that simple uh but more importantly after that pi cycle low was called um we have been intently waiting for all major movement averages to cross in the more bullish fashion so that means the yellow above the green all above the red and as we've seen in the past, um, anytime that one, this, you know, the cycle low has been called, and then two, we have that sort of an interplay going on, um, you know, generally speaking, corrections down to the green moving average uh, have been picked up and have been major opportunities. Yeah, there's been, you know, some deviations below, but no major closures below, uh, except again for that 2020 saga over here. But even then, really didn't spend too much time below the 55 or the uh, the green moving average there. So in this case, that is currently currently coming in around um, about 27,500, the, tw uh, the yellow moving average coming in at 28,500. So again, I, I would be saying that if Bitcoin does play a, a, you know, a sizable correction from where it is currently at, those would be my two Two major areas to be aware of or basically just me between there like twenty eight thousand bucks we can just say um it's kind of like a blind uh, uh number right there anyways moving on now i do want to get into uh, another thing that we've spoken about um just kind of uh painting the picture before we get into the fun stuff but the mvrv indicator on the weekly this is essentially the mark cap versus realized cap and what do you need to know about this well what you need to know is that anytime this has gotten into the green zone and then traded outside of that green zone after being in it for a while has marked off 
you know, lows being in yet again, or early the the low was actually already in, but Bitcoin was ready to, you know, rock and roll to the upside. Um, and so just kind of, you know, complete that portion of the cycle. And I've marked off all these areas with the green vertical bars. Um, the second green vertical bar that uh, that comes after the, you know, after the first one, like these two consecutive reads right here, that correlates to that first major pullback actually and in this case i'll just I'll, I'll show you this one right here boom trades above yep bitcoin busts above the uh the accumulation range and then has a nice correction again it doesn't look like much on the charts but this is you know this is a 21 percent correction right there um so a rather sizable move i would say uh obviously the one that we did see over here um well, actually, not necessarily. Um, I was going to say that that one was uh, nasty as well, but not so bad. Uh, but ultimately, you know, again, when we see these sort of reads, these are indications that that was a major low. And in this case, we do see kind of the same thing coming off of the 2023 saga right here. Um, that first major move above the green zone right here. First correction um, more recently in early June, actually. So was that the correction that we were looking for? I, I, I would actually still say no. I mean, this was like not that bad it was a 23 percent move actually to be fair but it can get much worse guys it can get so much worse we'll go over that a little bit later um but just wanted to you know again paint the picture that um you know if bitcoin pulls back from here if it pulls back um even at twenty five thousand bucks or or even a little bit lower than that very 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 likely a long-term opportunity um if it you know if it even pulls back at all um to be uh, to be to be very very clear um so moving into the new stuff, though, I, I did want to come back to this chart. So you've seen this chart before, probably, um, but we haven't spoken about what I want to speak about today, which is first, this chart is a measurement um, with all the green vertical bars where past halving dates have been. Now, the one that is in uh, 2024 is a bit of an estimation, like no one truly knows exactly when it'll be because of the way that, you know, the things are mined and, and blocks and whatnot and shit outside of my particular scope of view. But, um, but what is very interesting is that before that actual have between okay between the low being in which i think you know the the prior few charts uh have have you know very easily uh or hopefully clearly demonstrated and yes we can go like significantly more into the detail than that but we don't really need to on a video like this you can just watch the videos i was putting out around maybe like december or january um but uh but if you still need to be convinced of that which it's not really my job to fucking convince you it's just <laughs> just my opinion and you can see you can see the logic in it or not um but the period between the macro cycle lobing in and then that having date so the green vertical bar um bitcoin has seen again a sizable rally so, uh, followed by a pretty catastrophic pullback um when i say catastrophic pullback anywhere between 25 percent to even as much as 40 percent um that we did see on the rona time but in this case i do want to talk first about that first rally and in all prior cycles bitcoin has at minimum at minimum rallied up to the 50 percent corrective region or maybe even the 618 hold on let me just double check on this no the 50 percent correct uh correction here um in all prior cycles before the halving date itself and um or sorry be, be, you know before that first correction uh in this case about 25 percent um and in all instances now this is where it gets really this is where i don't feel even comfortable like talking about this but in all prior instances um Bitcoin has actually even rallied up to the 786 Fibonacci retracement before the halving happened. Um, now, the, the the rally to the 786 could have happened um, after that first major correction or before, but it has always happened before the halving date itself. So I'll just I'll, I'll bring you through the data here. So in this case, uh, this would be the first one in 2011, 2012. You can see first rally up again, very very sizable rally. Doesn't look like much on the charts, but that's 160 percent rally nearly um, before first correction. That was to the 618. Um, this again doesn't look like much of a correction, but it certainly is 47 percent. If you go by closure, it's about 40 percent. So you know, very very severe. Um, and then rallied up to the 786 uh, just right before the halving date itself. Actually, moving on to the next. One, we do see um, something somewhat similar. The first rally coming up to the to the 50% corrective region. Let me actually just raise this up so it's a little bit more in alignment there, just to make it more visual. Um, nice correction after that. Again, I think we already kind of measured it out, but 
Yeah, about 28, 30%, something like that. And then Bitcoin rallied up to the 786 right before the halving, actually, right before the halving, right right here, um, a few weeks before to be to be exact. And then in 2018, 2019, um, again, the rally actually happened uh, very severely and very immediately, more than 230% rally um, off the lows to the 786, actually, as you can see right here, a little bit above if you're counting the wicks. And then a very nasty crashing coming off the back of that as well. So in this case, um, one, again, we've, we, we've always seen the first rally get at least to the, to the, to the 50% region, which is where? 33,400 or so. Um, so it would be a little bit uncharacteristic for Bitcoin not to get there to before, bef uh, at least before playing out that next major um, corrective uh, uh, pullback. And when I say corrective, like major corrective pullback, I mean like probably 30% um, or more. So just to put things into perspective, if Bitcoin pulled back 30% from about 33 and a half thousand bucks, where that put Bitcoin? That put Bitcoin in the very low 20s, actually, somewhere around 23,000 bucks. Um, and yeah, the, you know, the numbers do matter quite a, quite a fair bit. Uh, to put it in perspective, 25% puts Bitcoin at about 25,000 bucks. Um, anyways, uh, if Bitcoin were to rally up to the 786, that would be $51,000, which I believe is around one of those Fibbo Swanee targets, um, which I actually need to check, on, to check in with him, um, although I suspect that not much has happened, so he's probably still uh, on the same uh, view. But, you know, Again, all prior, all all prior rallies before the halving have actually reached at least there. Um, some of them later, you know, later, like closer to the halving date, or, you know, and some of them a lot, you know, sooner. In this case, this would be a lot sooner in 2019. This one rallying up uh, very significantly um, over those first first few months, and then playing that out the correction, and then contrast that with this one over here, which had an initial rally, yes, but first correction, and then moved to the 786. Um, and then same thing over here, actually very very similar to that second cycle, uh, as is the first. So in this case. Will that suggest, it would suggest that Bitcoin, um, if history is anything to be going off of, uh, which sometimes it is, sometimes it ain't, um, you know, getting to fit, getting to 51,000 bucks is like not, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be unheard of, uh, before May of next year, before May of next year. The question is, does Bitcoin do this sort of a route, <laughs> you know, or does it do, or does it do, oh, hey, damn it, stop it, or does it do this, <laughs> you know, something like that, I don't know, I don't fucking know, that's what makes this, this whole thing fun, um, but I do see another another major setup of brewing here um, relatively soon, let me just uh, point it out, actually, I want to give credit to Mr. Aliel for pointing this one out to me, because I wasn't actually watching it just yet, because I, I think this one still takes time to be quite, uh, to be quite frank with you, but but there is a two-day time frame volatility versus stochastic momentum signal building where we do see that two-day uh, BBWP volatility. Let me actually get rid of this one right here. I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about this one uh, has gotten down towards extreme lows. In fact, it's uh, reached zero percentile, it looks like, or very close to zero percentile. Um, and it's been based off there for several closures now. So I expect that it probably does take its time. I wouldn't be surprised to see it be one of these ones, you know, where it kind of travels and, and then explodes. But that is brewing now. And to be fair, right now, the two-day time frame stochastic also is positioned heavily to the downside, like very, very heavily to the downside um, on this next period will be continuing with downside pressure below 31,600. Um, so uh, so again, you know, if 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 the Bitcoin boo laws are going to pull through here, they need to make this, they don't need to do anything. But what you'd expect to see is, is you expect to see price action go sideways above about 29,500, 29,600 um, for another, you know, probably week, I would imagine, maybe even two weeks. Um, and at that point, it will have a reset. Uh, until then, probabilities would actually favor the downside, to be fair, you know, and this this particular uh, setup um, has usually led towards, yeah, like a mid 20% move, actually. Um, so if it does come to the downside, where would we potentially be looking at? Uh, about 23,000 bucks, um, you know, somewhere around there. Um, it's always funny to me too, when I call these out, like <laughs> some people, uh, like I, I, I do read the comments and some people just go, go fucking crazy with and be like, what the fuck? Why are you talking about this again? It never works. It's like, it, it's literally, it's actually been really fucking good for the whole last year. It's almost been perfect <laughs> getting these just, they like, take so fucking long to play out that I think people go, uh, go nuts with them, or maybe they just have different definitions of what up and down mean. 
perhaps that's possible perhaps that's possible indeed anyways um yeah so you know again in this case right here uh technically speaking right now probabilities would be favoring the downside if we were to see volatility expansion sooner rather than later but if bitcoin can essentially trade sideways for another week maybe even two weeks uh, at that point i expect that this will have a full-on bullish reset and very likely would start to see it turn back onto the upside and probabilities would then once again favor the blue laws until then um you know putting two to do together uh, if you see volatility expansion right now more likely to go to the downside but putting all of the puzzle piece together uh, namely this one over here um with the you know with the having uh timing and whatnot you know it, it does seem to me that uh perhaps that is a little more likely that that bitcoin blue laws do hold on sideways here or maybe it's just a failure of a signal we have we actually haven't seen a failure of a signal here um on this for a bit of time now actually uh, let me see when was the last time we saw a failure um okay so this one worked this one yeah that worked it's ugly but it worked this one worked this one worked whoops changed around there um this one also this one did not work okay so that was uh september of last year actually um so almost a year ago and before that like all these ones over here did work out so um yeah possible i guess but uh but for right now you know that that would be kind of my synopsis uh, of the current place we are at within this particular cycle so I think that's a good place for me to be leaving off on this particular video. I need to go get some caffeine because I am massively tired and that is going to be my <laughs> my little joy of the day. Uh, so other than that, I want to be wishing you the best of the best. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully Monday.